guys. As you can see, I am back in my bedroom. Um, the last few, like the last handful of videos that I was doing was actually in my kitchen. So where it has like the brown wall and that like that little tapestry behind me. Um, that's my kitchen. Um, it has the best lighting. I can stand up. It's really spacious in there. Um, and now I finally got the um, camera set up because I have a new camera. So, um, but I needed something to put it on because um, the tripod that I have is too large. So I had to get another little tripod. But um, anyway, this video is about uh, what I got for Christmas. Now this has been a requested video because people wanted to know what I got for Christmas since I was showing things on Instagram, what I got my little one Gabriel for Christmas. People wanted to know what I got for Christmas. Um, by no means am I bragging or anything like that. Um, you guys know that I'm just so goofy. I act silly, I smile, I make funny faces. Um, but um, do not think that I'm bragging or anything because I am very grateful for all the things that I got. But without further ado, I want to get into the video. So the first thing that I got for Christmas, I actually bought for myself. So it is, and you guys have already seen me use it already, um, because I bought it back in November. Um, it was actually like a half birthday, half Christmas present. My birthday is in October. And Christmas is obviously in December, so I brought it in November. So it could be both half um, birthday and Christmas. And what I got myself was a Canon Rebel T3i. And so for the last like five or so videos, maybe not even that many, I don't know. Um, I've been using my Canon, but you'll be able to tell because you'll see the, the quality is different. Um, but half of it was for my birthday, half of it was for Christmas, so I guess we could block this side right here. So this half was my Christmas present. Okay. This, it came with another lens, and then, and it also came with this case. I love it. And it just says Rebel there, and it says Rebel right here. There we go, Rebel right there. Absolutely love this camera. It's the bomb.com and everything else. It was either gonna be this camera or um, a Louis Vuitton Neverfull in the Damier print. But um, I was weighing my options. I was like, should I get the camera? Should I get the bag? So I decided to get the camera because I can use it um, for YouTube videos. But I'm gonna get my bag. Yes, I so am. That was my. Christmas present to myself that I've had for about a month now. Now, um, you know, as you get older, you really don't get gifts anymore. At least in my family, you don't. You get money. So that's mainly what I got this year. I got money. I'm just going to randomly pick things. Um, I guess I'll start with what I, the order that I bought this stuff in. The first thing I went out and bought was my boss. She, yeah, I bought my boss. Yeah. Um, the first thing I did was I spent the money that my boss gave me. And uh, we had like a Christmas party, so like, I think it, like on the 21st of December. And so we exchanged gifts, she gave me gifts, and she gave me money. I was like, oh my gosh. So I went out and I bought myself a long shop. I actually, lo I love this thing. I got, this is the large tote, which I've heard that they're making them smaller. So this is probably actually, this is probably smaller than last year's large, but this is the perfect size for me um it's made out of vinyl and this is leather brown leather here and um zips on the top it has like the little logo here long shop and i'll do up i'll do like an up close for you and i'll show you like the inside and also this folds down very small it folds down to like the the size of this it's crazy so you put this in your suitcase if you're traveling you can use this on a, as a carry-on <coughs> You can use this as a carry-on um, for um, going on the, at the airport, and uh, I love it. Absolutely love it. I want to go back and get the um, like the khaki uh, taupe color. It's all this is taupe, like all the black parts taupe, and the um, trim is still brown leather. And then I still have money left over from what she uh, gave me. And I went and bought a coach wallet. I have so many coach wristlets, but I don't have an actual coach wallet. But I wanted to get a wallet, so uh, I, I couldn't
couldn't decide if I wanted a brown one or a black one. The brown one, I really didn't like it, so I opted for the black one. And in the back, you can put like your money and your receipts in there. Because I'm horrible with keeping receipts, but now I'm trying to get better. Because there was something that I took back a, long, a while ago, and I, I was hunting for the receipt. And I was like, I need to keep receipts. So now I'm starting to get better with that. And then on the inside here, you can have your driver's license, all of your cards. I even have like my Beauty Insider card for Sephora, my Ulta card, things like that. Under here you can put checks. I really don't write checks, but you can put checks here or you can put other cards there. So I love this little thing. My coworker, she actually got me this book called Almost Home and she knows that I'm a foster mother. So, and if you guys haven't, if you guys don't know, if you're new to my channel or if you don't watch my vlog channel, I am a foster mom. I'm a little 22 month, let's just put it this way. He's gonna be two in February. Okay, so he's almost two. And uh, this is about kids that have, kids that are aging out of the system, like they haven't been adopted and once you turn 18, you're, lo you're no longer considered a foster kid anymore if you haven't been adopted or if you haven't been reunified with your family. So I haven't started reading it yet because I've been so busy, but I cannot wait to start reading it. My sister gave me money, and um, my mom, what she does is she buys a lot of gifts for the little kids in our family, like all of our little cousins and stuff like that. So she always tells my sister and I, she's like, I'll give you you guys' this money in January. I bought a whole bunch of nail polishes. I got um, th four from the Julie G collection. I've never purchased anything from her collection yet. So, um, I thought now would be a perfect time. And I got Dance in the Dark. It's this little blue with like purple and pink, tiny little glitter inside. Then I got Butterflies and Rosebuds. It's a pretty color. Then I got Sun Kiss, Sunset Kiss. This one. And then I got Metallic Heels. Then the next one I got, well that's all for Julie G. Then I got the OPI, the Kardashian collection. I got three of those. I got one called Follow Me on Glitter. And their names are so funny. I have that. Then I have Completely in Love. This is a nice like pink, like a baby nudie pink. And then I have Chloe Had a Little Lamb Lamb. And this actually matches my shirt. I should have put it on today, and I didn't. I didn't even realize that matches my shirt until right now. Okay, and then I got the Sally Henson. Uh, what color is this? This is black platinum. But it looks more like a gunmetal gray. It doesn't look completely black. But it may look completely black on camera. But it's not. At least it doesn't look like that to me. And then, the last two I got was the Milani collection, and this one is Teddy Brown. I actually have that on now, on my finger here. And then I got Chocolate Sprinkles, and I have it on this finger. I love colors that are like brown, that, I love colors that look like me. Brown and chocolate. That's what I love. So, I already have colors like this, like, there's a color by China Glaze called Ingrid and it's a little bit darker than this. It's like in between these two colors. So you'll see that I love to wear colors. If I if you catch me painting my nails, I don't even know why I got so many nail polish. I guess I want to start painting my nails more. Because if you notice I'm always complaining how my nail polish is chipping or that I didn't paint my nails. But I'm gonna get better with that. But you'll notice you'll mainly notice me with colors that match my skin. And then I may do a pop of something. Next thing I got was from Sephora. So this kind of looks like a haul, but it's really not a haul because I got money and then I went and bought things with it. I didn't know what to get in here. Um, I got the Makeup Forever HD Foundation and I am in the color 177 and I'll show you. And I love this, love this. It matches my skin so well. This is what I have on now. This matches my skin so well get depressed looking for um, foundations because I would think that my skin tone is very common because I'm like brown but I guess my undertones are different like all brown girls have different undertones 
because I'm not too light, I'm not too dark, I'm like right in the middle, like a nice brown little teddy bear. And not many things have that color. But when I saw this, I was like, oh yeah, oh buddy. It like, I put it on my hand and it like disappeared. I was like, what? Oh my gosh, I fell in love. Next thing I got was um, the Benefit Their Real Mascara. And I actually have this one now today too. And this is good because as you guys can tell, I have very big eyes, but little tiny eyelashes, which makes no sense because I see so many people with very big eyes and their eyelashes are so long, but I don't know why. I have these tiny little baby eyelashes with these big eyes that don't work. My eyesight is horrible. I'm like 2100 without my contacts or my glasses. Cause like these things right here are like for decoration. They don't work. This actually makes my eyelashes a little longer. They really do. Um, so it didn't drastically change it as much as the girl in the picture, but it actually did a little something for my eyes. I got another brush head for my Clarisonic because I got a Clarisonic for my birthday for my mom. So I need another brush head. It's gonna, I'm gonna need to change it out like in January. Um, next, I went to PacSun and I got this nice sweater. It's showing up really, really bright on camera, but it's very, it's like it's dark, like a deep maroon, like wine color. And I got it in a large, so I got it big, so I could wear like skinny jeans or like leggings with it. I've already wore it once. I've washed it. This thing is awesome. And I got so many compliments on it when I, when I wore it. It is so soft. I love it. Then um, at PacSun also, and I like I, I went there and they had a sale. You could buy one, get one half off. The day that I went, and I got this little cardigan. I don't know what this print is. Is this called Aztec? I have not a clue, but I love it. I wore this too. I wore this and washed it. And I actually got compliments on this too. So I love this. They're, the material of their stuff is so soft. And then I went to Saks Fifth and I got this, this like shirt dress. And you see how this is looking bright? This is like, this, let me see. Yeah, this is like identical, the same color as that sweater. I haven't worn this yet because you see the tags are still on it, but I'm excited to wear this. And that concludes what I got for Christmas. And um, I don't know if you guys want me to do a haul once my mommy gives me money. I don't know if you want me to do a haul on that. But um, I hope you guys had a wonderful Christmas and I hope you guys got everything that you asked for. I hope that you got to spend time with your family and friends. I know I had fun staying, having time with Gabe. I call him Gabe. That is my buddy. His name is Gabriel. That's my little bugger. And uh, he had an awesome time on Christmas. He loved it. He opened all his gifts. He was so excited. And I put a picture on Instagram what he got for Christmas. And I can insert the picture here. And he was so excited with the things that he got. You know, like kids, they don't get very excited with clothes. So he opened up the clothes and he threw them. But when he saw the toys that he wanted and the things that he asked for, he actually got. And he was just so excited. And he was like, thank you, Santa, because I recorded everything. Because what I do is when he does go back home with his mom, I um, for all the children that I've had, because Gabriel is number five. He's my fifth child. And um, I put a video together for every little child that goes home. So when I put a video together for him, I'll insert clips of him open up his gifts so you can see his Christmas with me and Nana. And um, But I had a wonderful Christmas. This was actually, although I had five children, this is the first Christmas that I've had as a mom. Um, all the other Christmases, they were already gone by then. So it was very exciting to get to give gifts for a little one and they get to open it. That was the best part that I had um, for Christmas time. Now I am recording this on New Year's Eve. So I hope you guys have a wonderful and safe New Year's Eve. And I'll see you guys in 2013. Bye.